Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. I apologize that we have not made much progress so far. I'm just so... Oh, I just get so enthralled in this game, you know? In the universe and the quirkiness. And the sad news about that is that there's a whole town we can explore at our own leisure. Oh, boy. I love this. Hello, Polly! Oh, hi. Mr. Morgan, if you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. You mean overstanding right now? Daily goods to guess. I don't have much, but they may help you out. So you're the sales girl too, aren't you? Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. Great, thank you. Did you want something? Yeah, sure. Let's look at what you have to sell here. Polly! Cigarettes? Five cigarettes for $114. That makes perfect sense. Five lollipops for $15. Oh, she sells crackers for less than the vending machine. Son of a bitch. Anyway. Uh, we could buy one cheese for $22. Oh, we could buy a fishing rod. Oh, actually, I should do that. We can go fishing! Thank you, Polly. I will use this happily. And let's get some bait as well for $119. There we go! Alright! Sorry folks, if you hear a creaking every now and then, it's just my chair. And we're done here. Thanks, Polly! I'm gonna head out now. Slowly. He always seems so cautious when he opens a door. I mean, it gets better safe than sorry, but... Oh. Was that... Chapter 1 already? How about that? How much money did we make just by faffing about in the hotel? We got paid $1,400 for just messing around, drinking coffee. Can you get paid for drinking coffee? That would be nice. Alright, folks. Well, we're <laughs> oh, man. I'm so excited to be sharing this game with you. I absolutely love it. Nobody's ever heard of it, though. Say for a few, I listen to a podcast, and they're big fans of it. Whispers in the Dark is the podcast. Uh, podcast for the Rely on Horror uh, gaming news website, Horror Games. Um, and they do movies, too. They do movie reviews, TV shows, I think. I think they do TV shows. Movies, for sure. Look at that, folks. Beautiful sight. It does look a lot prettier in this version, I must say. Skies are blue, not gray, like they were in the original Xbox 360 version. A police car. He's observant. Our office is open from 9 to 5. Don't be late. Sheriff George Woodman. George. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to yeah, tell you, Zach, deep. this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Okay, now, this is the ultimate test, folks, because in the original 360 version, the driving mechanics, simply terrible. It's just really awful. Uh, okay, so let's check this. Brakes, reverse, boost, accelerate. What's that? Side brake. Okay. Wipers on and off. Jeez, they thought of everything, haven't they? Um, steer, signal left, signal right. Okay. The master key. This will open. It's a jittery little spin, isn't it? And we got a flare! I think if we use the flare, someone will come and pick us up. So, I'm not... Go... I don't want to use this view. Nope, don't get out of the... I didn't, I didn't mean to get out of the car there, folks. Zach, is there something get... here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Well, that's nice. Get back in the car! I don't know how to change my camera view.
Oh, I can signal. That's amazing. Oh, I can look around. Jeez. But yeah, folks, in the original version, um, these skies that you're seeing that are so nice and blue were very dull gray, I believe. Something like that. Um, I don't want to be in this view, though. How do I get out of it? Oh, headlights. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. That was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never had a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Yeah, okay. So yeah, sorry folks, uh, they kind of cut me off there. Um, so it seems like they've been together for a long time, right? York and Zach? Um, every now and then they just have these, these conversations that are just fun, fun to listen to. So... As you can see, we have complete free ro- Oh, I didn't even- that's new. That's a new item. We can actually look at the map. How did I do that? Ah, there we go. Make it bigger, make it smaller. Fantastic. I like that feature, folks. I do. Uh, although that's going to be a bit, of <laughs> a bit of a bother when I'm trying to drive. Let's- let's- there we go. Okay. So, we have complete free roam of this small town. Love that. Can I actually get out of this? There we go. Okay, I thought I could skip that. So let's check out the diner, folks. Actually, let's take a running. There we go. And as you can see, there's... um, oh, Country ham. Lovely. There are these collectible trading cards throughout uh, the entire town. There's actually a couple in here. There's one. You got coffee. Damn good cup of coffee. Um, and you, you can collect those. I know that you can probably get trophies and achievements for it. I've actually got an achievement run going right now, uh, on my Xbox 360 version to collect all the, <laughs> all the actual cards. Ooh, the diner menu. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Save our game? Why not? Look at this little place, folks. Lovely. Actually, the game, um... I know people say, uh, I, I, like, this game it reminds a lot of people of uh, Twin Peaks. I actually played this game before I played Twin Peaks. And before I played this game, I played Alan Wake, which a lot of people compared to Twin Peaks a lot. So I played Alan Wake first, and then I played this game, and then both of those um, uh, inspired me to, uh, to watch Twin Peaks. And once I did, I absolutely loved Twin Peaks. I actually just got a t-shirt of it right now uh, that came in the mail uh, a couple days ago. You don't need to go just yet, do you, Zach? Um, so I kind of went the reverse way of doing all that. Most people uh, saw Twin Peaks in this, but I I was seeing Deadly Premonition in Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks? Twin Peaks. Oh, a suspect! FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. Olivia Cormack. Nick's wife. Because we know who that is already, right? Olivia. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Uh-huh. That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? 
She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. <laughs> Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. Right, Zach? Um, sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. <laughs> you should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh, okay. <laughs> York. So, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here with us, so happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I, we were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. If you remember anything else, let me know. Just cuts her off. <laughs> uh, sorry, folks, I'm going to try my best not to not to drive around the town and explore too much, because I, I don't know how exciting that would be to, uh, to you as the viewers. This diner looks just like the R&R &R diner. Kind of. Kind of. Uh, can we, let's pop in the kitchen. Oh, we get yelled at, don't we? Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Watch me! Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No! Get the hell out of here! Jeez! Oh, look at that sassy stance after. Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. <laughs> I love that he just takes the time to talk to Zack. It's right in front of people. Even when he was urged to get out, right there. Oh, hello. This place is lively. Unlike the hotel's dining room, not as noisy as the city, though. Alright, let's go. So, yeah, as I said, folks, it's it's a whole town we can explore with lots of uh, kooky citizens and things like that that we can uh, we can interact with. Um, but again, I'll, I'll try to stick to the story as much as I can, because it is an extremely good story. I don't want to lose sight of that by uh, faffing about on the streets of uh, Greenvale. Not Greendale, that's community. Actually, let's take a quick moment. <clears throat> Check our map. Can I zoom in? No, I can only zoom out. That's right, I forgot about that. Oh! What did I do? Nope. Oh yes, we're going to collect these bones as well, folks. Whenever I happen to come across one, we will collect them. That will come in handy uh, a bit later on. Damn it, didn't mean to do that. There we go. So that's where we want to be. <clears throat> uh, and as you can see, folks, there are people, which I can't actually spot any right now. I guess this was one. Um, so that was Olivia. Right there. Uh, and as we meet people, the, until we actually interact with them, they'll just be considered suspects um, of the murder case. Poor Anna. And then as we interact with them, then they'll start showing up on our map and we can interact. See, there's a few great ones right there. Heaven and Hell gas station, suspect, suspect. There's just trading cards everywhere. They're not really beneficial uh, to the gameplay by any means. They're just kind of something that's fun to fun to collect. There's a couple more suspects right there. Uh, there is another portion of town as well. I don't. Again, it's been a it's been a while since I played this. I don't know every aspect of the town quite yet, but I have a fair idea. Yeah, there's a little more of the town. A little bit more up there. Not that way, though. Where else is of interest right now? I, damn it! Ah, welcome back. Let's just go to the police station for now, and then we'll... Uh, we'll check around some more. Let's get into the car. Nope. That's not reverse. Thought it was. Okay. And we're going. So I'm not going to mess around too much with collecting uh, trading cards at this point or anything like that. That wouldn't be very interesting to you, I don't think. Jeez. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I got paid five dollars for knocking over a pole, which was probably significantly more expensive than that. There we go. Just in case you can't read the sign, they give you a subtitle. That's one fine building for such a small town. It is, actually. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. 
Don't you agree, Zack? Let's go! Find George. He's so cautious. He's a good detective. Smallmouth Bass, folks. Smallmouth Bass. Popular in Greenville. Oi! Is he asleep? <sighs> <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the Sheriff's Assistant. He was crying in the opening video, folks. Poor lad. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent, Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... Well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. <laughs> look at him go! Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. I would watch that. The Adventures of Thomas at the Police Station. Okay, so here we are, folks. Let me uh, check the map right away. I can. Still not very good. <laughs> Zooming in and out. So, we have to be... Is this Emily? That might be Emily. And I think that's George. Yeah, that's, that's George. They're all labeled at the top right there. So, but first we have to find Thomas's keys that he lost, poor little fella. So we'll do that, we'll take a quick look around and uh, see what we can get up to. In here? There we go. We can shave in the kitchen, because, you know, that's fun for everybody. Zack, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zack? What do you think, Zack? Let's put it away. And yes, like I said, we can shave uh, in the kitchen. There's no mirror, actually. And I doubt there's shaving cream, but you can shave right over top of the vegetables. So why not? Uh, oh. There's a key. Gray squirrel keys. And in the fridge. What was that? Oh, a turkey sandwich, of course. It's purple, and kind of looks like plasticine. Anyway, out we go. And locker room. I'm sure we'll find keys all over the place, folks. Nothing in there. I think this might be a yes, another key. Long-tailed flying squirrel. And, oh, there's the toolbox and a, our suitcase. Oh, and we can open here, too. Hello? Oh. There was nothing? Okay. What does the observe say? George's locker. Looks like it's seen a lot of use. Spartan, just like the owner. Spartan. Sure, why not? Hello, handsome. Um, anything else in this room of any interest? I would say not. Oh. We have to make a dash at the door. Now he opens it slowly. Where else can we go? Hello? Ah, Thomas, I may have helped you out here, sir. I found a key. Master key. You found the key. I hope so. There's squirrel keys everywhere. Uh, 
Uh, no, this is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. The sugar glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? <laughs> oh, Thomas. Boop. Psh, nothing. What about here? Boop. Okay. Fair enough. Finally. Beep. Oh, hi. Well, this has been enlightening, hasn't it? Okay, let's leave this room. Ah. Storage. Ah. Ooh, my goodness. What can we find in... Oh, I see another key over there, folks. Hello? Pointy-tailed flying squirrel key? Okay. Raincoats. Three tires. And wheels. This is just a crap room, basically. Oh, I'll tap the shovel, though. That'd be great. No doubt this is Thomas's work, too. Whoever gets to marry him will be spoiled rotten. <laughs> I want that shovel. I want it as a weapon! We'll keep going. Okay, hey, fellas! This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Well, you're not gonna learn anything with an attitude like that, York! Fire exit! Nope, can't go that way. Downstairs, maybe? Down we go. Ah! Damn it. I didn't run. Folks, we are going to continue this investigation. I just realized the time on this video. Don't want to let it run too long, so... I will see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Deadly Premonition. I'll see you then.